Some surgeries and procedures do not require the use of full general anesthesia, but may still need some amount of anesthesia to keep you safe and comfortable during the procedure. This is called sedation. Sedation is a state of sleepiness that occurs when you receive medicine to help you sleep during a procedure. Your anesthesia provider can use a range of medicines to produce different levels of sedation during your surgical procedure. The goal is to sedate you enough that you are relaxed, sleepy, comfortable, and breathing on your own. Medicines for sedation are given through an IV. While you are under sedation, an anesthesia provider is present at all times to monitor your well-being and to adjust the level of sedation as needed. In addition to the sedation, your surgeon will often place a local anesthetic or numbing medicine near the location of your surgery. Because sedation is not considered true general anesthesia, patients may or may not be aware or have memory of the procedure. The level of anesthesia you receive is tailored to your changing needs during your surgery, and at some point, it may become necessary to start full general anesthesia. When the procedure is finished, you will be taken to the recovery area where we will continue to monitor you. How quickly the anesthesia wears off depends on the anesthetics and other medicines used, as well as your response to them. A nurse will check your vital signs, bandages, and monitor your pain. It is normal to have some discomfort. However, please tell your nurse if you are in pain. Your nurse will ask you to rate your pain level using a pain score from zero to 10 zero being no pain, and a 10 being pain as bad as it can be. Some things you may experience after anesthesia. You may have shivering and feel cold when you first emerge from anesthesia. You may feel some numbness or less feeling in a part of your body if you had a regional anesthesia or if your surgeon used local anesthesia medicine. You may experience nausea and vomiting. This can be treated and should not last long. Also, you may have trouble with muscle control and coordination. Anesthesia can often interfere with birth control. Please refer to your after-visit summary for specific instructions. In some patients, anesthesia can affect memory and decision-making for a short time. Do not drive or make important decisions for 24 hours after receiving any type of anesthesia. For outpatient procedures, you will go home the same day. Your healthcare team will discharge you when they feel you are ready. For all other procedures, you will move to a hospital room to continue your recovery. If you have any questions about anesthesia, please contact us at 713-792-6133 Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You may also review the anesthesia consent forms and anesthesia education materials in your MyChart account. If you have questions about your specific procedure, please contact a member of your surgical or procedure team. Thank you for watching.